Mingala Bakamya, I'm Angus Watson with the top stories for DVB. Burmese opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi will not rule out the possibility of her party boycotting the upcoming general election. The National League for Democracy is in a position to add to the 43 seats it holds across Burma's two houses of parliament. However, Suu Kyi believes that the government discriminates against the party. Burma's constitution bars the 69-year-old from being elected president. She says the country's rulers continue to ignore the will of the people. They're quite hardline when you consider the fact that they are not interested in negotiations or in amending the constitution or in um, to taking over seriously the, the uh, will of the people, then how, how do, would you describe them? You can hardly say that they're moderates. We don't think that boycotting their elections is the best choice, but we're not uh, ruling it out altogether. We are leaving our options open. A prominent Buddhist monk banned from holding public sermons in Burma has led religious talks in Japan. In late March, Burma's highest religious order prohibited Shwain Yawa Sayador from preaching. The ban came shortly after he criticised the government's handling of education law protesters. The state's sanger argued that the monk's sermons were not relevant to religion. On Sunday, Shwen Yawa Seidor preached to around 200 people at the Tokyo event. His Dhamma speech included commentary on the lives of Burmese people. Shwen Yawa Seidor is expected to remain in Japan until the end of this week. His ban on speaking in Burma extends indefinitely. UNESCO's status has doubled tourism income for three ancient Burmese sites. The Pew city-state ruins of Sri Kestra, Halin and Beit Thano were proclaimed World Heritage Sites by the United Nations in 2014. That has seen a huge boost in visitors to the historical central Burmese sites, with figures up 100%. The sites are managed by the government's Archaeological Research and National Museum Department. It says it has gathered over $40,000 in ticket sales alone during the last financial year compared to $20,000 in the year before the three sites gained UNESCO status. Burma will have five competitors for Chinlone Gold in the men's tournament at the upcoming Southeast Asian Games in Singapore. The June competition will see teams including Thailand, Malaysia, Cambodia, Laos and Singapore attempt to wrestle the crown from the Burmese. Burma are the favourites to retain the number one spot, however. Both Burma's men's and women's teams won Chinlun glory in Naypyidaw in 2013. That was the first time the competition was held in the history of the Southeast Asian Games. You can find more on all of today's stories at dvb.no. Bye for now.